Hello watch people, this is Hector with Winding Crowns and today we have a short review of the Diving Armor Narvel. But first, roll the intro. Hello watch people, my name is Hector and welcome to Winding Crowns. And we're back guys, I am wearing the Boulder Odyssey Bronze 45 millimeter. We really like it. Anyway guys, the watch we have here is the Diving Armor. Now this watch here is a random Rob tour piece and it's, it's actually really really nice because these are watches that you don't see very often you know these are there's a lot of micro brands out there so many it's hard to keep up with them but every once in a while you come across one like this and it's really cool guys I when I first got on the tour I didn't know what to expect I didn't know if I'd like it then it showed up and it's really cool the case this is what steals the show in this case it's 40 40 millimeter right here on the bezel but it's you know look at the lugs okay see how this one comes down that's the lug end but this one is longer if you look closely pretend that it, it's the same exact shape as this if you look at it now let's just see how this is shorter here let's say we chop it off right there you look at it this way it's really the same on both sides except for it extends further here because it's an articulating piece now why does it extend longer because it has a 22 millimeter lug lug opening for straps when you first put it on you look at it you're thinking this is an integrated bracelet, but then you look closely and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, it's not integrated. It looks it, but it's because it, the reason it looks it is because of how it just tapers perfectly down. So it has that appearance that it is integrated, but in reality, it's, it's there in the lugs right there, the solid end piece. So if you put on a strap, which <clears throat> this watch does come with extra strap it is quick release on the bracelet and the strap so here is the strap now if you were to put this on it would fit in there right there in a 22 millimeter lug you see that it would fit there but how would it fit here if it's that wouldn't make any sense well if you look closely fits there so you so the strap would go directly into this one like that and this other end piece right here would I don't want to lose the keeper there would go here so you would have that extra piece right there you see it and the strap on down here would be closer to the case bezel but this one would be further away it's a really cool design it's really really cool um, and it wears it doesn't wear big because like I said it's 40 millimeter and it's if you measure this goes down <clears throat> this excuse me this goes down around your wrist so you're not getting a protruding because this is flex see how it's articulating so when you wear it it's about right there so you're going to be about 47 48 millim uh from here to here tops so it's going to wear real comfortable and, and small and when you look at it from like the top view like this 
you you mostly see like this this is what you see a very short lug to lug i also like the fact that when you wind it you just push it all the way down like this and you have full access to this crown full access to this crown and there it is i mean it's really designed well it's it's got weight to it it's so solid guys this thing is solid there's not a lot of watches that look like this but there are a few brands and this thing is so solid guys it's it's i love this right here i love that that the crown is at 12. some of the watches that are similar to this have the, the crown at six it basically looks the same it just more looks more like this this one has it at the 12. i love this brushed the horizontal brushing i love that it's a screw right there and the art articulating lug i like the knurling on the bezel it's a little stiff but easy to move from the sides and it lines up lines up perfectly you can see that it's got like a yellowish greenish tint to the bezel insert which is ceramic that matches the loomed areas and the hands and the indices inside that's because the c3 loom is on the ceramic bezel this has the double stick marker at 12. it's got a six o'clock window which i like because it is framed it is framed and it looks nice and clean by the way the indices the stick markers and the circles also framed and it looks nice it's really really clean your hands are nice and clean with plenty of loom your second hand uh, is orange which i like that pop of orange color to give it just a little bit of, of, of color there and orange and black all always looks good so does blue and orange uh, but I love that orange contrast against the black background. Uh, you have the uh, the logo, the DA, this shield with the DA inside, and then you have diving armor underneath. Narvel, the name of this model, and then you have automatic and 200 meter. It's not overly cluttered, just enough information. I really like it, guys. I really like it. I love the bezel, uh, the insert. The articulating big old crown this thing is humongous i like that uh heavy duty watch love the bracelet solid solid as can be uh and that nicely deep engraved logo and diving armor on that clasp really nice and deep you have the release fully milled clasp and hinge and then of course you have these push these and you can you got that extension it's really really nice guys it's it's a heavy duty well-made watch i mean i really like single dome sapphire crystal which is a uh, uh, slightly domed so you get a little bit of that distortion not a whole lot but you get a little bit that gives it more of a vintage look uh, everything about it scream 70s 60s 70s very vintage inspired just it's a really cool i like this whole bullhead feel and vibe to it these it's real brutish in, in these angles and the bracelet you know it's just very angular and it's very cool and so i'm really excited you know there's a meteorite version of this a blue i believe a gray and this black and this is the black one and this is the one i would go for uh if he were to send me one but thank you rob for sending this one out i really enjoyed my time with this watch it's really really nice guys and uh i hate to see it go but it's on to the next guy but this thing is just it's awesome it's running the miota 9015 40 millimeter without the crown bullhead diver you know the website says redefining classics redefining classics and yes i agree this is a modern interpretation of a classic vintage uh inspired watch i really the size is so nice it's great guys you know uh, let me see if i can put out on this wrist since i'm wearing the boulder on the other side 
But there it is, guys. See that? Tell me that's not vintage all day long. All day long, that's vintage. Really, really good looking watch. Like I said, I hope that they go ahead and get funded on the next one because this is just an awesome watch. It's really, it's so different, guys. Keeps great time because that 9015 Miota is just a great movement. Hacking hand wind. Just a really cool looking piece. Anyway, guys, it comes, like I said, it comes with this extra strap. Like this nylon extra strap that can get wet and you don't have problems with the shrinkage like leather. So it's perfect for water just as this. Little easy diving armor, little leatherette type case. And you put the watch in there. You just close it like, like that. Very simple to carry. Real nice. So guys, let me give you a quick loom. Quick loom shot here before we end the vid. There it is. Hit it with the old light right quick. There it is, guys. See that? It's really nice. Very, very nice. I really like it. Let's see. You see the loom monster in the background, huh? Look at that. Very nice. Great looking watch, guys. I really like it. Anyway, guys, if you like this type of content, then please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of this watch? Leave a comment down below. Is this your cup of tea? I do appreciate every one of you that subscribes to the channel and all you guys that view. And remember, never stop winding fast.